we just completed what might be the hardest Warzone Easter egg ever. We weren't the first to do it. A massive shout out to Cassian and Timotron. Cassian worked out loads of the stuff for it right early on at the beginning. We wouldn't have known where to even start without Cassian. And Timotron was the first in the world to complete this Easter egg. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do it. But as a kind of heads up, it is pretty tricky. You do get a pretty cool reward for it. You get an event camo, so it's a camo you can apply to any of the Mon Warfare free guns. As always, if you enjoyed this video, if you find it useful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I've got another video which was all about how to get into the throne room secret vault in the keep. I'm also going to be posting videos on how to get into the secret laboratory where you can pick up a ray gun and how you can break into the bank vault and open them up payday style. And then for that one, you get a really cool cooling card, which I quite like, and you just get a bunch of gold. So make sure you subscribe to get told when all of those videos go live and of course any other easter egg hunts that we do in the future. Over the next few weeks I'm also going to be playing a bunch of Fortunes Keep trying to sort of level up in ranked mode. So hopefully I'll see you for some of those streams right here on YouTube or over on Twitch. So like I said at the start of the video this is an incredibly difficult easter egg and mostly that's because a lot of the places you're going to go to are hot drops and you need to use a bunch of items where as far as I can tell there's only one of them so if somebody else picks up one of those items you're kind of screwed you're in a lot of trouble and if the zone covers any of three separate locations you're also screwed because then everything disappears and you can't do the easter egg anymore so this is a pretty challenging one to do. But I know some people like a challenge, so let's get on with the guide. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to try and find a gas can. Now, I'm not sure how many of these spawn on the map. There might only be one. I'm not sure at all. But these are the locations where we've managed to find them so far. Every time we've gone in, it seems like one of these will spawn in one of these locations. There's probably other locations because we've had a couple of games where we just couldn't find one at all, which was super frustrating. Once you've found a gas can, you now need to get it up to the top of the lighthouse. Now, the lighthouse is always a bit of a hot drop. There's going to be teams trying to fight over it. So it's much easier to do this if you've got someone who can try and keep it clear with you. But once you get the gas can up there, you should just be able to interact with this little generator next to the door. Once the generator is fueled up, the light at the top of the lighthouse will start turning round and then you'll be able to stop it using the grey box. I kept looking at the red valve because I'm an idiot and I thought that's what it was. Now what you're trying to do is to get the light on the lighthouse to be pointing kind of west northwest. So just before it hits west, which will be that beam where the cables are on there, just before it gets to that, you want to try and stop it. It's pretty forgiving to do this bit because if you get it kind of nearly right, then it'll align itself. It'll kind of do a little bit of moving for you. And if you get it wrong, it'll just let you start it up again by interacting with the same gray box. So you can kind of keep starting and stopping until when it gets locked on, then it won't be able to be started again. Like it'll be completely locked in and you won't be able to interact with it anymore. The big problem really is just fighting off teams while you wait for it to be aligned. But when you start it, like there I stopped it a little bit too early so I could just start and then stop it again. And then when I couldn't interact with it anymore, I knew it was properly aligned. Now you've got three locations to get to and the order doesn't actually matter. So basically what you've done so far is you've set up a light from the lighthouse shining on a certain location and that's the roof of the building where the big sort of radio antenna is and on that roof there's a tiny little bird's nest and there's actually three of these dotted around the map if you want to look for these yourself good luck turn off the video now go have a look the only way we really found them is because when b breadman played his first game there were some high moon studios developers who did this easter egg i guess to test it on a live server and we could kind of see where there were some beams of light going from so we could try and work out where they are we managed to find two that way one on the top of the church and then one on the top of the winery and then we only found the last one because these all disappear whenever the gas touches one of them. You can't do the easter egg anymore after that happens. So I just waited until one of them disappeared, the one on top of church, and then worked out, okay, that's where the circle was. So that's where there must be another one along that perimeter of the circle. And then Cassian found the last one on top of this radio antenna. But yeah, so there are three separate bird's nests. One on top of the radio antenna on top of this little chimney. There's one on top of the church right at the end of the roof, sort of on the highest bit of the gable. And then there's one at the top of the winery, again at the highest point of the roof along the gable. 
To complete this easter egg, your objective is to try and bounce the light from the lighthouse to the radio antenna, then to the winery, then to the church, and then kind of onwards towards the keep. I'm not entirely sure where it ends up. I have absolutely no idea why you would want to be doing this, but that's the objective and that's how you complete it. So for the next step, we need to work out how can we bounce the light from one of these nests to the other. We spent so long looking for a bloody egg or trying to work out if we could put a throwing knife in there or use our sniper rifle glint or something like that. But the answer's a little bit stranger. You see, around the map, there's a few of these special binoculars. There's three to be exact. And if you hit the binoculars, a tiny little mysterious item will pop out that's basically a lens. And these are the things that you need to go and put into the bird's nest to reflect the light to the places you need to go. Now, the really tricky thing with these is that you only get one out of each pair of binoculars. And if you lose it and an enemy picks it up, you either have to go kill that enemy and get it back or you just have to restart because if you lose track of them they're gone with that lens you're going to have to restart the game so this is just another thing that makes this quite difficult especially because you're going to be going into some quite dangerous parts of the map so here are the locations of the three lenses that you need and each one of them is close to one of the places where you need to put them so at least you don't need to travel with them so the one for the church is right up next to this big round tower. Just to the northeast of that, there's a little platform. There's some binoculars on there, and that's where you can grab that lens from. And then you just need to run back over to the church, which is super quick, and then you can put it up into that nest. I think, strictly speaking, this is meant to be the last piece of this challenge, but we did it first because we died when we were trying to do the one that's meant to be first. But this is the last bounce of the light. So if you're trying to do it the way the design is intended, this is probably meant to be the last one. The next one we did is for the winery, and the winery one is just on a platform to the southwest of the winery. There's a little viewing area near the tower that's fallen over just to the south of there. So again, you can pick that up and then head onto the roof. Every time we've done the winery, we've ended up having to fight a team. So I've ended up having to die and then try and pick it up again. Just hope that they don't pick up the lens and steal it. So now you're ready for the third one, which could be the first one if you're doing this normally. And this is near the radio tower where that nest is, just to the west of there, on the cliffs to the west of it, you're going to be able to find the final set of binoculars. So it's just here on this little path that goes down the cliffs to the west hand side of the radio antenna building. Then once you've picked it up, you can climb up. It's super easy to get on top of this building, which is kind of nice. And there's not often as many teams around here. And then once you put it in, that will complete the Easter egg. It'll say the dragon stirs. It will tell everybody on the server that you did it. And it will tell you that you got that crimson worm um, camo unlocked. That's the Modern Warfare 3 camo that you can use on any of the Modern Warfare 3 guns. There's also going to be a bunch of fireworks going off over the keep. I didn't really pay enough attention to it there, but there's a cool like little dragon firework and Cassian provided this footage so we can see that a little bit better. But that is the complete easter egg. Once I do it as a guide, it actually looks like it should be kind of easy in a way but just the amount of fights you have to do the risk of losing a bunch of stuff it's just a complete and utter pain to do but the fire display is nice everyone on the server gets to see it you get a camo for doing this that you can use on any of the guns you want to as long as they're from Modern Warfare 3 so overall I think this is a pretty awesome easter egg there's been a pretty amazing four Easter eggs with the Season 2 update Fortune to Keep. High Moon Studios have done an awesome job. They're all pretty substantial Easter eggs. Like, there's the one in the labs, like I said, to go get the ray gun where you have to do a jumping puzzle. There's the one in the throne room where you have to solve a different kind of puzzle to be able to get into the vault. And then there's one where you have to go and find the drills all over town and do like a payday style thing with alarms going off. And then this one where you obviously have to fight loads of people all over the eastern side of the map. I think they're all pretty involved. There's a bit of spectrum to kill in all of them and you unlock a sort of permanent cosmetic reward with all of them which i think is absolutely awesome so let me know in the comments how you get on with this if you've got any questions let me know and check out my channel for all of the other videos for the other guides to the other easter eggs for this thanks so much for watching and goodbye